Hello and welcome to a new video. It's been a while since I last did a serious video, you know. Anything where I'm sat talking and showing something off. So I've recently watched the Linus Tech Tips video doing the ultimate Twitch streaming PC. And just to bring you up to speed, if you've not seen the video, the link is in the description and on the screen now. You can click it, the annotation, if you'd like to go and watch their video. Is they built one machine that did both gaming and streaming separately which is interesting so the idea was you wouldn't heavily impact your game whilst you were streaming it and it wasn't quite interesting so the way they did it is they virtualized it two computers one played the game one streamed the game so they used OBS which is open broadcast it's a very popular open source live streaming piece of software um, it's amazing, it works with Twitch, it works with Mixer, it works with pretty much anything that supports RMTP, um, not RTMP, I can't remember which, don't, don't crucify me, and lately it supports Mixer FTL, FTL is amazing, zero latency or very little, it's almost real time. Anyway, enough selling myself out, I will sell my ass for anything. Anyway, so they used um, virtualization and the way it works is OBS ran on both the game machine and the streaming machine with a plugin called NDI. So they didn't have a capture card to capture the game. <clears throat> they ran o OBS with NDI and it all did it over the network. Admittedly, theirs was a virtual network. They had 10 gigabits per second because it was virtual. They can have as much speed as they want. Oh well. Anyway, um, the way it works is OBS runs on the gaming machine. It doesn't stream or record. It literally just runs. You set it up as if it's a live stream. And then the live streaming machine will be running OBS again with the same plugin called NDI and you add in the game source like a normal source so it's quite interesting how it works so the gaming machine will stream its screen over your network as if it's a live stream itself it doesn't impact your game well I didn't notice a big impact there's a bit of an impact but for me two laptops both are running fine with zero impact and any other computer on the network can pick up the stream you literally see it, you just see it on the network, it's quite interesting and in OBS you select it as a source, you select which source you want which, so if you've got multiple laptops you can select which one you want and then you just add it like a source and you hit stream boom, amazing um, I'm testing as you can see on my screen now two laptops and um, both running OBS with NDI my desktop is the one recording it which is also running NDI and you'll notice that uh, we are at 30 FPS admittedly but it's not lagging there's no drop frames it's well it probably is but you get what I mean it's really nice and there is one hiccup is you need the right CPU and you need a good connection so both these laptops have got uh, Intel CPUs one's an i5 one's an i7 both are connected via a Ethernet cord into my home network my whole home network is gigabit one gigabit each laptop has a onboard gigabit Ethernet port so we're gigabit all around and my computer has a gigabit so I have one gigabit between everything and this is as far as I'm away it's not really hurting the network I'm streaming from both laptops to my computer my computer's in streaming to mix I've tested it no lag absolutely great uh, regarding the CPUs you need to check with your CPU support something called SSSE3 it's a mouthful um, I'm not going to go through what it stands for but essentially it's a technology built into your CPU to help assist with streaming. If you don't have it on your CPU this plugin will not work. 
end of. Um, I don't know if there'll be a workaround in future. You could probably figure out your own workaround using something like Steam streaming, in home streaming. I don't know. Um, so pretty much you're an OBS on all three. You need to have OBS Studio installed. Then you need the, it's called the OBS NDI plugin. Link is in the description. And then you need, um, there's like a, I don't know, dev kit, tool kit thingy for NDI. And you need that installed. Install all three. You might already have OBS, so just install the plugin and its dev kit thing. I don't know why I'm calling it a dev kit, but you know what I mean, SDK. And restart your computer, then it will work. Great. Um, then you just put it in like a normal stream. I can't say anything other. It's great. I'm showing it on screen now um, how you can also have dedicated streams, so to speak. So on a laptop, you will select a stream you want. You right click it, filter, add on, dedicated stream. And then that source on that OBS will show as a separate stream. So you've got a choice. You could go, don't do that, and then you composite everything in. So you've got your webcam in the corner, or something in the corner, and then the game itself. And then you pull that into your streaming machine and then stream it. Um, or you could have the webcam as a dedicated stream and the game as a dedicated stream. Then in the streaming machine they show as two separate sources and you can add them and then you can move the webcam around, hide the webcam, very flexible. That's probably the best approach. Um, it's up to you what you do. I think the best application for the whole system is either multiplayer gaming, so you and a friend or multiple friends are all in one house on one decent network. You play a game, you all run OBS on your laptops, computers, whichever, and then on your live stream you can show all the different screens. It's really cool. Or you could do the other setup we have a different computer doing the stream and a different computer playing the game um, I've tested with two laptops and my computer all doing this and my networks fine and the stream uh, live streaming is fine too with mix FTL the whole network coped absolutely fine just gigabit nothing too out of the, out of the water so to speak nothing too crazy um, standard hardware it, mm, I don't think I can think of anything else worth mentioning other than you need to be hardwired Wi-Fi works it just stutters you lose a lot of frames so the laptop we're running at you know you know a nice crisp 30 FPS 60 FPS but on the other end you're getting about 15 FPS which is a shame um, yeah, that's about it really. Thanks for watching the video. If you liked it, hit the thumbs up. If you want to subscribe, um, here's hoping to be uh, demonetized. Anyway, thanks for watching and goodbye.